Welcome back to the line. Last month, Secretary Designate Christopher Roskowski, head of the New Mexico Public Education Department, spoke at a charter school conference and touted the fundamental principles of our nation, saying, quote, this is a country built over the last 250 years on things like freedom, choice, competition, options, going west, manifest destiny. End quote. The remark about manifest destiny, a 19th century doctrine justifying territorial expansion by settlers, was criticized by Native American tribal leaders, teachers, unions, and others. Many said the comment <coughs> was lacking in sensitivity and showed that the head of the New Mexico Public Education Department was out of touch with the people he was appointed to serve. Now this week, Democratic State Senator Linda Lopez called for the secretary designate to resign over the comment, saying that he still had not explained or properly apologized for his, quote, ill-advised comments. Tom, let me start with you. As you've, uh, uh, I understand you've spoke with Mr. Roskowski recently. You met him at an, at an event. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure if this subject came up, but I'm curious just your, your sense of him as you met him in, in the subject matters you did talk about. And then we'll yeah. get into the details a little bit it, later. It didn't come up. I okay. mean, we were discussing other items and stuff. I think he, he's extremely intelligent. I mm -hmm. think he's extremely sensitive as well as far as, uh, you know, knowing how his uh, comments are, are impacted, which I think was why he expressed remorse as soon as he was called out on it. But, right. um, I, you know, he's a Democrat. He's a registered Democrat. He's worked for Democratic governors. He's worked for Republican governors. A lot of the initiatives that he's taking, um, he's really focused on wanting to have the student succeed. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, uh, uh, an educator by training. Mm -hmm. uh, he's taught in public schools in Miami. He's taught in charter schools in Maryland. Uh, and so, and he's, he's worked on the administration side. So, you know, mm -hmm. to the issue of qualification, I think he's as qualified as uh, any other, uh, you know, state uh, public education secretary that we've had uh, previously that's been nominated. Uh, and I think that he really has the best intention of the, of the schools and the children at his heart. Now, um, I heard him speak at Economic Forum. He was uh, asked the question specifically about if <clears throat> unions are holding back uh, students in New Mexico. And, you know, if he was a, a, a if he had been towing the company line, he would have just jumped right on it. But he goes, you know what? The unions are not the issue. Mm. He says, we have school districts around our state uh, that are not unionized, that are having just as many issues as right. those that are unionized. Uh, the focus is what can we do to help the children? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I really respected that. I thought he had a chance to really kind of, you know, you know, take a hit or give a hit rather. And he didn't. He just went back to his brand, which I think is just focused on the student. I appreciate that. Just kind of shaping him up for us in this discussion. Stephanie, specific to the Manifest Destiny comment, it, it's pretty shocking when you think about Extremely it. Extremely shocking. It, you know, when you, when you think about what happened in our, particularly in our, in our part of the country, in our state right. specifically, was yeah. Ms. Lopez, was that too strong for you? Absolutely not. Okay. No, okay. I think mm -hmm. she is completely in line and it's in a completely appropriate, I think, call for his resignation. Mm -hmm. I think that his, um, as mm -hmm. has been said, you know, his comments were very much out of touch with some of the values that I think New Mexicans hold dear, you know, mm -hmm. and that's respecting and embracing our traditions, our diversity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think that him saying that just, again, it shows that he is out of touch. I will say, though, Tom, I respect your opinion and I respect your, um, you know, analysis of people and policy and so I find it really heartening to hear that you think that it wasn't malintentioned and that you know that he really does have the students best interests and so I appreciate you you saying that um, mm -hmm. and so with that being said I think that and you know there have been some other instances where the secretary or acting secretary has um, shown some I would say lack of leadership because mm -hmm. I mean you look at the federal funds that were lost that could have gone to several of our um, really underserved schools that would specifically go to pre-K kids. And we know that in New Mexico, we have such a finite amount of resources. Mm -hmm. And the early ed is something that we've seen and has been studied to, um, to actually increase opportunities and to help um, our communities. And the fact that he missed the boat on that is one piece of it. His position on science standards are another. Mm -hmm. So I think if we look at the whole picture, I think Probably that's what Senator Lopez was also looking at, in I addition see. to the manifest destiny comment. But you know, I was I was hesitant to actually bring that up after hearing Tom's assessment of his, um, you know, his opinion of of Mr. I wanted to say Gronkowski, but I think it's because we're talking about Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Secretary. Gronkowski, that's okay. He's probably heard it before. That. That's right. <laughs> let me move. Let me move to Sophia real quick. The All Pueblo Council of Governors. Uh, 
put a pretty good hit on him, as, you, as one could imagine. This was quite insulting for, those, for, the, for, the, for the council. And I, I just, you know, we don't know what's in his heart. We don't know. We can't sit here and understand. But to have something like that come out, just sort of blurt out, was it malintent? Was it not understanding the term? It's just, it, it, we can't really it's, it's, figure it it's out. It's really hard you know? to say. I mean, my understanding is that he has taught civics classes in the past. And so um, the thought that you would have taught civics and then not know about Manifest Destiny. That's fair. You know, sure. the, the, the thing I think that can be difficult mm -hmm. for people who haven't um, had exposure to that to that concept or don't remember it from school, et cetera, mm -hmm. is that in this part of the country, we're talking about a genocidal policy. Thank you. And um, so, you know, to, to use it flippantly, I, 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 you know, I don't want to, which is the Godwin's Law, the first pe person who mentions the Nazis loses uh, mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. internet, but, but uh, in, in some parts of the country and certainly in this part of the country, um, it would be like a politician saying, um, well, politicians do, but uh, so a public servant standing up and saying, um, this country was built on slavery in a positive way. Right. Just, we have an understanding, I hope, mm -hmm. that that is, um, that is not an acceptable view of our history. And the same, I think, is, is true of Manifest Destiny here in the West. And especially, mm -hmm. yeah, given the colonialism and what we've seen in terms of the westward expansion mm -hmm. and how our indigenous populations here in New Mexico have mm -hmm. been negatively impacted, and that's just an understatement to that's say right. negatively impacted. That's it's right. Partic that's particularly true in yeah. our region. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about something, Senator, from the 1840s. You, you know what I mean? That's where the term, you know, you know, first came about. We can remember there's a famous piece of art with angels overlooking settlers who were shooting Indians and, you know, the whole thing. I just, I'm just amazed that you could be someone in this state and not have, have a little check in your mind just when it gets to your tongue to say, that's not going to work here. Even if it's, you know, something he may not believe, you know, we don't know again. But your sense of it when you first heard it, are you willing to give him a, a mulligan on this one and, and, and just move on? Or is this something, is Ms. Lopez right here that's something he needs to answer for here? Well, that's a, that's a good question. I, I don't know um, mm -hmm. the secretary designee, so I don't know his heart, but right. I think it raises a really interesting question. You know, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I know one of the, you know, one of the things we debated uh, in the Senate when we uh, began webcasting, so I introduced that bill and then Representative uh, Arnold Jones started to webcast from her computer, right. was archiving uh, the discussions and the debates, right? That was a concern That's among right. That's the right. leadership. Yeah. Because, I mean, the reality is, you know, we all misspeak. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, did, did mm -hmm. Secretary Ros Roskowski misspeak or, you know, did he have some malintent uh, mm -hmm. in his heart? Mm -hmm. I mean, the reality is, if you look at the philosophical origins of Manifest Destiny, I don't think there's any agreement. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, some people feel it was a God-given, you know, right to take land from indigenous people. Other people felt, you know, the continent was meant to be, uh, you know, run by Americans. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. but anyway, this, this is concerning to me because the reality is that, um, you know, we all misspeak. And, uh, you know, I think one of the reasons, you know, there was some discussion about Oprah running for president. You know, everybody loves this lady, and they should, but, you know, there's probably some stuff she said somewhere that would come out, ruin sure. her reputation. Sure. On the left and the right, Condi Rice. I'd love to see Condi Rice run for president. So I, I don't know if it's fair to judge someone based on a few things that they say. Let me, let me ask you this then. Look at the big are, are you satisfied with his responses since then? Do you feel like he has heard folks who had a problem with this? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. He said he misspoke. He said, you know, he, if, if he had, uh, you know, to do it over again, he'd use, uh, use some different words. And I think the bigger picture, too, is just what's happening with public ed. Maybe not the bigger picture, sure. but another thing we need to look at is, you know, we talk about job growth. We talk about our market uh, in terms of bringing in, uh, uh, you know, companies and so forth. Sure. So look at our education system. We are doing better. Right. And I think, uh, you know, the Martinez administration needs to be recognized for that. Good point. Tom, we got just under a minute here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this comment made it to the Washington Post, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, for obvious reasons. It, you know, people can say things, but it left up to the rest of us to get past it. Do you know what I mean? We have to kind of fix the damage here a little bit. Where do we go from here on something like this? Does it just wash out in the culture or... 
So well, I, I think it's up with. to the to the secretary designate to you know really express what his heart is through future actions. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I don't think he you know I think he's addressed the issue. He needs to move on. I think his uh, uh, public information officer for PED uh, needs to pull it back a couple of notches because right. you know it's not you know to going after to go Ms. after right. yeah, exactly. There's a, a time to fight. There's a time to just That's you know exactly. exactly. Yeah, I thought that was out of line. You know, it, it made for interesting headlines and news articles but really didn't help uh, advance the argument at all. A good point there. We'll have to end it there. Now, when we come back to the line, we'll look at the role of lobbyists in state government.